What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE Top 20 Shocking Betrayals in History, man. It's always a good time when you think everything is good with some individuals or tag team, maybe. Everything's great. And all of a sudden, one of the partners pull out a steel chair and attack their other partner from behind. And you're just like, why? Why would you do these things? And it, it, it creates a nice feud, man. I'm, I'm all for betrayals when they work. And one of them, my favorite ones in recent years is obviously Seth Rollins betraying the Shield. After they beat Evolution, not once, but I believe it was twice. They beat them in two pay-per-views in a row, made them look strong. I'm like, wow, this is good. And then on that Monday Night Raw, after the pay-per-view, Seth Rollins betrays them, betrays the Shield. One of the biggest shocking moments a lot of us didn't see coming, and I thought that was pretty well done. So we're going to check this out. I'm sure that may be in this list, should be in this list, but appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Road to 70K, we're almost there, and uh, let's get right into this bad boy. A hardcore legend, you can all shut your mouths. <laughs> Why? Of course, the ref, the ref gets knocked down. It's always Matt. It's always Matt. <laughs> the screw over Jeff. Oh, this one right here was a good one too. This is this is when a uh, one of the greatest heels in NXT was created right here. When I say Tommaso Ciampa at this point, just being a despicable person was so great. One of the best NXT feuds ever. And one of the greatest heel turns in NXT. No doubt. No doubt. We know that uh, DiBiase's had a confident air about him, King, but DiBiase wants to... Whoa, 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 what the... What the... My partner, Cody Rhodes. DiBiase, and look at... Hey, Cody Rhodes standing there staring out <laughs> at our fans. And, I don't know if shocked is the right word. I'm dumbfounded. I don't understand Chris. it. He's finally done enough. Yep. Ellsworth. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Who remembers that time when he was around? Jim Ross, JR. Oh, what about it? He's up back into the ring. The big oh, X-Pac and Kane, man. They're, they're illustrious feud hate love rivalry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, from X-Pac to Kane in the air. Oh, gosh. He wants to be friends. Oh, oh no. Billy Gunn. Oh, man. Kane didn't just. Karen, your big ass is over. X-Pac just stabbed Kane in the back and the CEO of this company, Triple H. And there's Nikki. The S Lock. Oh, come on! Hey. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Oh, Stephanie's had this coming. Oh, yeah. Coming for the Bellas. Swerve, yeah. Oh, Bellas, this is sickening. I like how the ref is really hurt, bro. Really? Can we just always give a shout out to the refs? Taking the slightest bump, and they just be, uh, ooh, ooh, oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. What, bro? What do you mean? You ain't get shot. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Dolph sold that, too. Yep, I remember that. I was like, oh, he didn't deserve that. What the hell? What the what 
Mm-hmm. This was a, this was a nice moment from Roderick Strong because he he really wasn't going anywhere character wise. So when he joined the Undisputed Era, woo! That was that was nice. That he that was that was really good. Him joining the Undisputed Era was nice. My God. Yep. And he got a pop because he was finally in something like outside. I think he had like a little mini feud with Bobby Roode when Bobby Roode was there. Didn't really, you know, it it, it kind of had something. It, it kind of had the makings, but it didn't really go nowhere. This was great for his character. He needed this. He needed to turn heel, join Undisputed. Crowd loved it. I loved it. It was great. Crowd loving it. I have to relinquish the Universal Championship. This is when, uh, um, yep, later that night, yep, Dean Ambrose turned on him. Not on this night. The thing is, this could have worked, but then they ruined him. Y'all remember when they turned him to a fucking great value bane? Like what was what was that? It it was it had the promises the promising of just working because it was such a serious heartfelt moment and then he does that. I it was like okay this is interesting, this is very interesting and then they turned him into a fucking great value bane. Like what the hell? Yeah. Uh-oh. You knew it was coming with the hug. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's always like a good story when, <laughs> especially it's like they considered the tag team like brothers that you know like it that is always will be a story that works when one brother betrays the other you know it, it's just the Cain and Abel story that always will forever work in wrestling and storytelling in general that's a question here if Kevin Nash go for the power bomb another fifty thousand dollars I think he will there you see oh yes oh, what did I just see he, he double what that double 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 brother what in the world did see? I just see <laughs> Look at this! Oh, there's a knee from the ring. Now the Undertaker's got a game possession of the urn, and it's over. First slam. Give him the urn. Paul Burr's laughing. Paul Burr's laughing. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I'll say it. What? Oh, stop that! Stop mm -hmm. that! No, this one right here. This so was good. this was good. This started obviously one of my favorite feuds in wrestling. Triple H, HBK. When HBK came back and they went with this, this was good. Not even gonna lie to you. Right here. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> this was good. After Pettigrew has been here on Raw, what a great fourth of July, what a great night of HBK, ladies and gentlemen. What a fun opportunity. We've all been joined here. Right on their feet. On the yep. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? JR. <laughs> what the hell? I just love his commentary. When stuff like this happens, JR is the best on commentary. And <laughs> compared to this, but I'll, oh, this I one right this here. I'll give it to you anyway. I mean, how come my name's on this? Oh my God! Oh! 
Yep. Yep. A power pop. And just a look at disgust on the face of Owens. This was good. It, it didn't really matter because guess who we end up losing to in like fucking 30 some seconds? Fucking Goldberg. So did it really matter? No. <laughs> Count. Unfortunately, no. Love this. Love this. Love this. From a Royal Rumble. This was great. Yep. Yep. What in the hell? Thoughts are circulating the mind. I, oh! thought... I was all for this. And we have a new champion. I was all for it. Bobby all for it. Still all for Bobby it. Lashley all for it. Oh no. This one right here. Yep, the portrayal of evolution to Randy Orton. Tonight, I, I said this, I'm glad this was number one. This, watching this live, I'm going to be honest with you, Shield versus Evolution, the two matches they had, fantastic, great matches. Enjoyed those matches. They put over the shield. We're thinking, bro, these guys will never be stopped. The greatest faction in WWE history. And then to see Seth screw them over was great, bro. Just delicious. Plan B. And he. Oh my God, just have a... Are you kidding me? Rollins down. He's assaulted. Yup. That was good. That is how you create a star. They created a mega star. His first heel run with the authority. Great. Great. I I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, man. Seth, even though in the past few years he, he said some, some controversial stuff on, on Twitter and, you know, he, he had his little little comments towards the fans you can't deny the dude is dude is a future hall of famer one of the best to ever do it especially in the new generation of wrestling he is a top guy he is a main eventer he knows how to put on good matches i enjoyed his match with roman reigns at the, this year's royal rumble he's just he knows what he's doing man i, I will say that man and them turning him heel against his shield brothers was one of the best things that happened in his WWE career because it it shot him to the moon. He became the most hated heel at that time for quite some time, and I love it, man. So comment down below. Let me know. What's your favorite betrayal in wrestling history, man? It doesn't even have to be in WWE. It can be in any company. What's your favorite betrayal in wrestling history, man? For me, um, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's That's kind of a tough one. If I really had to think, uh, for me, uh, I would probably give, I'd probably give it to the Triple H one. Because seeing Shawn Michaels back, it was so cool, that whole moment. DX is back, and then Triple H betraying him. And then the matches they had, that SummerSlam match, brutal. They were literally trying to kill each other. He, it, it came off like Triple H wanted to end his career. And I love that. It's one of my favorite feuds of all time in wrestling. And that betrayal was perfect. Because Triple H was, he was a piece of ass. And that feud, it, that feud kept going for a while. That even, that feud would still be brought up when he was in Evolution. That's what made it so good. It didn't just end. They still hated each other. Storyline wise, and I, I love that. So appreciate all the love and support. Row two, 70k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.